I can see that you're ripped now. The last time no. I saw you, you were not. And now you are. Yeah, it didn't happen overnight. <laughs> I guess it didn't, huh? No. You had to do, like, exercise and that sort of thing. That's the biggest problem with it. Yeah. You know what? The, no, the biggest problem is once you get there, you don't stop exercising. Right. I wish it was like a video game where you could just, like, hit save, and then, like, <laughs> all right, now I look like this. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> you have to keep it up now. Yeah, you've, you know what? You've gone too far is what has happened. I'll tell you, when I saw, because I follow you on Twitter, and I, I saw the photograph, and I thought, honestly, I thought you were making fun of Donald Trump because he had posted <laughs> a photo of his head on, uh, like, uh, Sylvester Stallone's body. And I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's funny. And I just kind of kept going. And then I started reading all these stories about, oh, my God, Kamel's body. I'm like, they found Kamel's body? Oh, my, you know. <laughs> but it became, like, a worldwide viral sensation. Your body. Yeah. Super weird, man. <laughs> it was a weird couple of days. I have the photograph here, in case you oh, haven't seen it. And I can't God. imagine that. Oh, now, I mean, look at me. This is the part that's absolutely ridiculous. It's like... Yeah, it's actually the streets uh, that lead to my uh, home that I grew up in. in Karachi. <laughs> that's the map. I did uh, not Karachi. know veins went in that direction. I thought they only went this way. I had yeah, no, no idea. Yeah, no, I think I messed up my veins by working out. <laughs> those aren't going anywhere. Where are those going? Take Shouldn't me... they be going to the heart? <laughs> aren't they supposed to go to the heart? They are supposed to go. They're lost veins. So. Take me through this Oof. photograph. And who took the photograph, first of all? Uh, so the trainer mm -hmm. who trained me for this, mm -hmm. uh, his, his buddy, <laughs> took the photo. Okay. And what happened was, so, so we, this was right before Christmas. Uh -huh. We were shooting this movie. Eternals. Uh, it's a Marvel, a Marvel movie, movie coming out called mm -hmm. Eternals. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're, already, they're already fans of it. We could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just look at it myself. It was like, it was like the week before Christmas, and I was like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna look like this again. Who knows what I'm gonna look like after Christmas? So I was like, I want to take a picture, just so I have it. Uh -huh. And then as soon as I saw the picture, I was like, the world must see this. <laughs> and so I was shooting. I was on set shooting, and I just put it on my Instagram. Uh -huh. And then I checked an hour later, and it was like, find some likes. I was like, cool. And then I checked again, and it had exploded. On mm -hmm. my Twitter, I was scrolling, and it was just like, my torso, 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 torso. <laughs> It was like over and over and over. It really got out of control. It did. It was like, I mean, it was shocking to people because it's like, it's not, you didn't give us any warning that this was going to happen. Well, I, you know, it's, it, it was covered a lot. The story that I didn't like was a lot of people would do like two side by side pictures and be oh, like, yeah. can you believe this turned into this? <laughs> And it's just a picture of me from a year and a half ago looking how I've looked my entire life. You find out what people really think Yeah, of you. they're like, can you believe this garbage pooping sea monster turned into this? Like, was I, like, leaving a trail of slime behind me? <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. I was normal looking. What did your parents think about this well, and so, your family? So this, ex it exploded, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. It exploded. I freaked out. I called my brother. I was like, are they, like, upset? What's going on? Uh -huh. And my brother said, Dad has already sent your naked pics to both family WhatsApp groups. Oh. <laughs> both of them. And then it got uh, in newspapers in Pakistan. And so I had all my aunts texting me pictures of myself, like, so proud of you. <laughs> Oh, so really? proud of you, son. Yeah. Wow. It's weird to have your aunt sending you naked pictures of yourself. Yeah. With, like, <laughs> anything but shame. Usually that stops when you turn three, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, wow, well done. So tell me about, and I'm sure you're tired of talking about this. No, I'm, I'm sure not. I'll talk about well, it. Well, tell me about... I'm very excited to talk you, about it. You must have, I mean, because you really did. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, D Dwayne Johnson weighed in on your body, right? Yeah, Dwayne The Rock Johnson did. Yeah, and that's a, you know, that's a big compliment. Yeah, yeah he said, um, he said, uh, dense muscle is hard to achieve, my brother. 
He thinks my muscle is dense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he could see that. Because that's like dense. He didn't touch me or anything. And is that a thing even? Is there like a density? To, aren't they like a, I didn't know some mus muscles were denser than others. I didn't know, but my if The Rock it. says it. It must be true. Who knows better? <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious if you touch The Rock and all his muscles are super soft. <laughs> like they look hard, but when you touch them, they're like muscles. By the way, I've touched him. He's, uh, it's not, he's not soft at all. There's yeah. no softness. He's like this. Yes, it's like banging against Mount Rushmore or something. Yeah. So as far as like diet goes, have, oh, it's have been you gone a... back off the wagon yet? So I finished, I got back uh, day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, like, the hardest, you work out every day and you sort of learn to enjoy it. But I, the diet is the hardest thing. I have not had pizza or a donut in over a year. No sugar. No, no, I've had no refined sugar in a year. I've had almost no carbs at all. I basically, you know what my snack is? You know what my snack has been that I tell people? I tell people like, actually it's not bad. You know what my snack is? I get a bag of sugar snap peas and I eat them. Oh, That's no. what I've been doing at night when I'm like, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna treat myself. Crunch, crunch. So it's, is it okay now? Are you all ready to enjoy some of the things you used to like? I haven't done it yet, but I'm like, I, I will, yeah, I cannot right. well, wait to do it. We have something special for you. Please go ahead and be careful. <laughs> Your head, there's... What? Now the, ah! A mobile. Are you serious? This is good stuff too. This Are you is not joking? decorative. No, this is. Oh my God! This is all for you. This is for me. You have whatever you for like. For me, Kamel. You, you can eat all I of those if it? you want. Are you serious? We got you. Guillermo got it's you a pizza no, too. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are you really serious? Yes, yes. So. Um, feel free to enjoy. Oh, uh, <laughs> your uh, first. I, 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 I'm literally gonna cry right now. <laughs> no cry. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm glad I could do this with you. Oh my here. God! Wow. I think I saw a tremble. I'm shaking. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> hey. Pizza's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll oh take. Oh my God. You know what we'll do? We'll take a break and during the commercial, try to eat all of this stuff. Kamel Nanjiani is here. Little America is his new show. We'll be right back. That's a ten gallon. The cattleman, the gus, cutter, brick, gambler. What you looking for? I want the hat that is strongest. That is Little America uh, by Kamel Nanjani. He's got a lot of treats here. Don't worry, we'll wrap this. You can take a doggy bag. You can take all of this, this home. Is, uh, I've been looking at this cheese. Is that the one that you uh, have your the, eye on? No, the one I'm most excited about is that. So I'm trying to save it. Oh, yeah, build up to it. <sighs> Wouldn't it have been great if somehow you gained like 30 pounds during the commercial? Dude, I've, <laughs> I've been terrified for a year that I'm gonna sneeze and like lose it. <laughs> like this is some great dream I've had. But I wanna talk about that show, Little America, which you executive produced. It is a great show. My wife oh, and I watched you. a bunch of them this weekend and I love the idea of the show too, which is the, they're true stories about immigrants and uh, where did these stories come from? <laughs> so yeah, the show is an anthology show uh -huh. about, um, they're based on true stories of immigrants <laughs> that moved to America. And uh, there's this magazine, uh, Epic Magazine. Uh -huh. They've been collecting stories <laughs> of um, real immigrants who came here. And then they contacted us and they were like, this could be a good TV show. So we were like, yeah. It would be a great show. <laughs> and um, what are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about your show. Um, and so, yeah, it's basically eight different episodes, all based on real stories of people who've moved to America, set over, you know, all different time periods. With a lot of famous actors and uh, actors from all over the world. And they're, they're actors from all over the world, yeah, because um, 
we really wanted it to be authentic to the people <laughs> <laughs> who, um, you know, the characters that they're playing. We wanted them to speak the language that the characters speak. So we really, like, sort of found a lot of great people. I love that you're just eating right now. I don't think I've ever had this experience where someone just eating throughout the interview. <laughs> It's... You don't understand. I'm, <laughs> I'm, lit I'm like shaking. I can I'm see that. So I noticed excited. your hand was trembling. My, my heart is beating so fast. Right now. <laughs> you know, a couple years ago, I was here because my wife and I made a movie called yes, The Big Sick the Big that Sick. was about. Uh, it was a great movie. Yeah. People who don't know, my wife was in a coma and we didn't know what was going to happen. And I remember very specifically the day. We were like, is she going to make it? Is she going to make it? And I remember when I got to the hospital one of those days and went in, and she was up and sitting on her bed. Um, I'm happier right now. Kamal <laughs> <laughs> on Johnny, everyone. He will soon be in a food coma. So, But watch his show. It's called Little America. It's available now on Apple TV+. Plus. We'll be right back with Sting. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So um, you know what to do.